Hello everybody, how is it going? So, today, I know uh, I just uploaded an Uta video, but she got some pretty meaningful support in EB01, so I figured we could check it out. Uh, they got more film uh, 2Ks in the Sanji, who is a 4-5, uh, Dawn X1, for every 3 rest of Dawn in your field, this character gains plus 1000 power. Uh, honestly, not a terrible card to play out if you have to, but mainly just being a searchable 2k counter is really nice. And in EBO1, you also get Bueno, who is a 2 cost 2k, or sorry, 2 cost 1000 counter, 2000 power. There we go, got through it. Um, Blocker, who again is also very strong just because it is searchable. And little blockers have a lot of synergy with Kid. So I figured I want, you know. Take a look at the deck. You also, in this version, can play Mihawk, who's from ST12, which we do not have yet. So the deck does get a decent amount of support in the, uh, you know, EBO1 and eventually ST12. Well, actually, ST12 was before EBO1, but you guys, you guys get what I'm saying. But anyways, uh, let's hop into the games. All right. So first off, we have a Sakazuki. I'm not sure if they got any support from EBO1. I don't think so. I uh, <laughs> I almost hope not, but they might have. Actually, I think they got Brook, the uh, the three cost Brook, which I imagine is pretty strong. Um, this deck is, I, I know the comparison is weird, but I feel like Tashigi and Brand New is just like the, the blue black equivalent of like the Dawn and Nami. And I was like, like they gave probably the best deck, like really really strong search power. But you know, it's all good. He picks up a Houndblaze from the Tashigi. Uh, there might be, there's probably absolutely no reason to actually play this Nami, because it'll just get answered with the Houndblaze. But I think we're just going to attack for 8, hopefully, yeah, find a film card. And uh, next turn we'll just Brook into Nami, and uh, make it a little bit harder for him to answer. He will have 6 Dawn, so I mean, you know, is more likely that he can answer the 4 and the 3 cost, but we'll just have to see. Uh, he's going to cycle with Leader, crashing a 2k. I don't know how many 2k Sakazuki plays now. I feel like they've always like played very few, right? It's usually just like 8. But I mean, him cycling a 2k isn't necessarily bad. We could just be looking for like other pieces, you know, removal or what's it called? Or reduction, whatever he doesn't have at the moment. But he's just going to swing for 5. <laughs> There's no shot. Oh my god. All right, next up we have Perona, another green deck. Very cool to see. Um, I don't know how this matchup goes. <laughs> I feel like Perona usually doesn't have, they're not like Sakazuki where they can answer like two bodies at once and such. A lot like less removal, but I feel like more free removal, if that makes sense. Um, we're not even gonna bother playing the blocker because what is the point? We'll new Genesis into a Nami. We'll go again. We could grab another Nami, but I think I'm gonna grab the Brook. And I will just pass. Yeah, playing the Blano is pointless because he'll just tap it. I'll be sad. He's gonna swing eight at me. I will eat that. Get another Brook. Uh do we actually want I feel like we want to get the search off this. So we're probably just gonna play Nami and use effect. We'll just swing five. Nami could also very easily just get, you know, answered, but at least she replaced herself. Pick up a 2k, we'll pass. I kind of imagine this is just going to get x or ryu which I mean, like, unfortunate, but it'd be like that, you know? We're just going to eat that. My game plan is just 8 cost kid for now. Uh, they do play, like, 10 cost Dofi, which is pretty strong into, into 8 cost kid, but that's inevitable, right? Um, <clears throat> he does do exactly what I said, of just extracting the, uh, the Nami. We're just going to attack for seven, pick up a Brook, and then go Brook into Uta. Pass. I imagine he might just clear the Uta, which is fine. He leaves me with an attacker at least. No, he's just going to go seven. All right. Eat that. He still has, what, six Dawn to work with? Could be uh, the Brook. Not many people play that card. I'm gonna defend one just because next turn I plan on just kind of going to zero. 
Oh, it's just Ryuma. Okay. And then Corazon, probably. Oh, no. Brand new. All right. So this turn, we're just going to Kid. But first, we might as well use the new Genesis. We'll go Kid into... We could Bueno. Is it? It might be risky actually tapping the Kid. But I guess, you know, that's just the case no matter what. So we'll just go five at life. He'll counter for one, play the kid, use effect, play, play out the bueno and pass. We do have two blockers, so, you know, that's nice at least. But defending kid is like a bit annoying in this matchup, but if the kid sticks a turn, which it's looking like it will, uh, we're in a fine spot. It's going to go at life. I'll take this one. If he decides to go like really big, I'll just, uh, what's it called? Just take the block if I have to. Actually commits a Dawn the brand new. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I probably wasn't going to counter out of that regardless. Go one Dawn, attack for seven. So he's just going to do a bunch of sevens. Ah, uh, we can keep that in hand. Uh... I have another blocker. I'm probably just playing Luffy next turn, right? So we'll go Luffy into this. Eh, using my blocker now feels a little bit bad though. We'll just go 2 1. And uh, we're just gonna start fighting for board. So we'll go except the X Drake. Picking up the backlight there is pretty good. He does defend it. Interesting. Uh, we'll go. Nine at the Drake. I imagine he's not gonna drop two two kids on this. Oh, he's going to. Okay. Uh, well, we can just backlight it and play another blocker. I don't hate. Huh. What do I want to do here? We can go backlight. We could also like I'm invincible for fun. We go Brook into the blocker. I think it's best we still just Luffy. We can also trade with this, or uh, what's it called? Yeah, we'll just do this. Another little blocker. I mean, get it, eh. do we really care about brand new? I don't know. Sure, we'll, we'll get rid of them. And we'll just get rid of a I'm invincible and pass. It's like, I'm not in the best spot, honestly. <laughs> um. Especially if he has like an actual answer to this kid, but like I should be able to live Gonna immediately tap the bueno Swing at kid for 10 Okay, looks like he does not have an answer for it, which is good for me Gonna go 10 again, and then he's kind of just out of swings. So we'll just take that block Plays brand new uh, Picks up a Suru Okay, okay, it's not bad. We're just gonna keep pressuring down this X streak. We'll pick up another small blocker, which is great. Uh, we can go for this Ryuma, but I think it's fine to just leave it, honestly. And we'll just get kind of aggressive here. We only really want three dawn for this. All right, we'll just swing seven with Luffy. See where it leads us. takes we'll go nine with the kid we'll take we only need three dawn i guess we'll just put him on a clock of out my kid or you die <laughs> if not i potentially die he's gonna counter out of the 10k swing my goodness i don't know we'll see we'll play uta and phase will trash what do you want to trash? Probably this. Untap the Luffy and we'll pass. We do have three 2Ks. Um, so <laughs> we'll see how this ends up working out. He really just needs like an extra eek, and it looks like he did get it. But I think I still just live and I, I should be able to just go for game. Oh no, okay. Moria into Ryuma. As long as he has a Ryuma. Okay, he does. But that means we should still just be able to go for game. 
picks up a Rosinante, so we'll probably get that blocker down. But we're still kind of fine. He swings. I mean, you can go like five, six. We'll just counter out of one of them, block with the uh, Luffy on the other. We'll tap Uta. Maybe just wants to clear the Uta. He does. I mean, it's an extra attack, right? <laughs> We, yeah, we might as well defend it. And if he swings again, we'll just block with the Bueno. Sure. Okay. We're just gonna go seven. Then we can kind of just poke him down. He'll take that. Okay, we'll go five. He'll kind of for one. And yeah, we're just gonna do the, the kid combo. <laughs> sure, pick up a brook while we're at it. And he scoops it up. I'm down for a rematch if he wants to. He did not want one. Now my sim is bugged. Dude. Oh, we have the mirror. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is this will be interesting. I have an eight kid, so I'm just gonna keep this. Going first, he'll play a new Genesis. Grab a new shop. And pass. We're gonna use our own new Genesis. <laughs> Uh, we could take an Usopp as well. I don't think I'm, I think I'm just going to take the Brook. And uh, hopefully we'll just find a 3-drop to play off the Brook. That's the goal. He'll attack 4 or 6. Pick up a Chopper. I'm just going to eat this. Get a Luffy, not bad. And I imagine he'll either play Bueno or not anything. Or I guess if he's still playing Law, he could play Law. Uh, nope, he's gonna use another new Genesis, get a backlight. That's pretty good. And he does play the law. Okay. Um, this turn... I think I'm just gonna play the Zoro after attacking for five. Very interesting he counters. That, that makes me feel like he's not playing 8-cost kid. But I feel like there's no reason why you wouldn't play 8-cost kid, you know? So, I don't know. <laughs> Preserving a bit of life, I guess. Gonna attack for six again. Pick up a Luffy. We're just gonna eat that. Get an Uta. Not bad. Not bad. We can play that off Brook or something. Ideally, we find like a Nami at some point, but if we don't, it's all good. Oh, he's, he's attacking with Law. Interesting. I think I'm still just gonna take it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. I guess I have to be a little bit careful just because of uh, I'm invincible existing. That is a thing. This turn, we have nothing really great to do. Um, we can like back like this and just bully it. He might just defend it. <laughs> and then we'll just play like a a brook or something. Hmm. Yeah, we'll backlight it. Sure. We're not gonna play a brook. I will go one down on leader. That goes up for six. We're gonna whiff. That sucks. So we could have played brook with no consequences. Oh well. <laughs> He's gonna let it go. Okay, we're just gonna go six at his face. No counter. I don't know why he's defending his life. We play Nuta. Not gonna resend. Um, honestly, this Zoro can die. It can live. I, I guess I could have played around backlight, but yeah, I'm not too worried about it. If he swings six at my Zoro, I'll probably just like let it go. He's just gonna swing five though. I will defend this just because it's free. And next turn, I'm just playing kid, so... Yeah. All we really have to do is survive a turn after playing kid. Which should be easy enough. But he's gonna go Luffy, Brook, Usopp. Very good. Uh... Do we even bother attacking his life? I feel like we actually hold out. Eh, maybe not. We'll attack him, we'll attack him. <laughs> I don't know what's actually best. It might be best to just, you know, not attack him here. But if he keeps defending, I mean, 
Yeah, there's no reason to swing with my leader. Maybe he'll just drop another card though. You know, you never know. Maybe he won't take the free block. Oh, he does. I don't know what he's what he's trying to like play. Is he just trying to play like a bunch of ten drops? Very interesting. How we gonna play kid into Bueno and S. Not gonna restand anything. We're just gonna go down to zero. Unless he wants to preemptively start swinging a kid, which is still fine because we have two blockers. Uh, yeah, <laughs> interesting game. He's still at five life, but I, like, I don't know. I feel like you just lose your board now whenever you swing with it. I'm gonna go seven at life, I guess. Bottom's a kid. Unfortunate for him, but hey, <laughs> we take those. I just whiffed, so you know, it's only fair. Gonna go seven with the brook. Uh, we really have to worry much. We don't have a ton of counter, but like we have enough. I'll use a little blocker, just because I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> we'll try to not use the Uta, unless we have to. Like if he swings ten with Luffy, I guess we will. But hey, we find another one, <laughs> so I guess we'll be fine. Oh, he's swinging 10 with, uh, with Luffy. All right. I mean, I still have the blocker, though. He just goes a kid. Nah, we'll use the blocker. Yeah, we're just gonna clean up his board <laughs> as much as we can. Uh, we're probably just going, like, Luffy into the Uta. We'll go one Dawn on our leader. Just swing six at the Brook. Pick up a Brook. Not bad. We'll go... Six at the Usopp. If he wants to defend the Usopp, it's like fine. He does. Because now he just kind of. Doesn't he just like lose his kid or his Luffy? Because we'll just go 10 at it. But I'm going to have two 2 Ks. Which he does not have. So we'll go Luffy into Brook into Uta. Pass. Not going to resand. We're looking good. Don't have a ton of counter power, but if we need to use Luffy, like we can. We have another one. Okay, so <laughs> he's trying to swing seven at my life. Um, he's literally playing eight cost kid, so uh, I don't know. Like, surely he knows what it does. I don't know, man. Weird. He's just gonna go ten at the kid. We'll counter. Try to, like, I don't want to use this blocker, but I will. <laughs> it feels a little bit bad. But, you know, whatever. I'll go 10 again with leader. We'll just use the Uta. So I guess this turn we're just playing another Luffy. Uh, Might as well clean up the Usopp. Again, he can defend it if he wants, I guess. <laughs> go counter for two. We'll go again. He'll counter for one. Go. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> I have to put a dot on that. We'll go six again. You bought him a kid. Unlucky. What are you gonna do? Let it go. Uh, I guess. So he can swing like 12 at this. And we can't get out of it. So I guess we shouldn't really swing with the Luffy. Even though I kind of want to, but. You know, whatever. Just swing a 9 at life. <laughs> He'll finally take one. And uh, we'll play another Luffy. And we'll pass. Goes three dawn on leader, attacking for eight. We'll drop one of our two Ks, sadly, but I mean, you know, whatever. He might just be playing a Luffy here. Yep, goes Luffy into law. All right, not the best, but I guess it's better than nothing. Getting a two K there is pretty good. I'm gonna swing under the Luffy in hopes that he'll just take the block so I can clear it. 
It might not though. It takes the six. All right. Yeah, you know, we're probably not really playing much this turn. We're gonna whiff off leader again. Come on. <laughs> All right. It's like not the best because now like swinging with the Luffy's feels kind of bad. I guess we can like reswing with leader if we want. Uh, we'll go seven with Brook. Take we'll go nine with kid. He'll take um I mean I don't have anything better to do. <laughs> Let's just do this and attack for nine. Probably just you know block counter three, but I guess it's some cards out of his hand. pass this is <laughs> honestly this spot's kind of scary just a little bit um because we don't have many cards if we didn't whiff off leader two times in a row my goodness we'd be in a much better spot still having two two k's isn't bad oh he's playing zoro that's interesting uh yep we'll just counter the ak swing he might be playing just another luffy I feel like at this point he's just playing to to not die. I feel like he should just be playing to win, like try to clear the kid. I don't know. I guess it's pretty unlikely if he doesn't have like the restand leader uh, card. I'm invincible. Uh, so yep, we're just gonna poke him a bunch. We have the backlight, for the Uta, which maybe I should have done before swinging, but whatever. I guess so I'll take that free block. So that's good. Maybe he'll take another one. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Oh, he blocks with the Uta. Okay, so <laughs> that's my bad. We'll go nine though, and I feel like it's pretty unlikely he has this counter power. So that'll just eat the Luffy. And we should just have game. Kind of just however we do it, we still have the I'm Invincible. Yep, we end up getting it. All right, well, uh, yeah, I know it's um, only technically two games, but the first the first one was kind of too funny to not throw in there. <laughs> like, I get that it was just a misclick, but it just looked really funny. Um, yeah, besides that, this deck is uh, a lot of fun <laughs> and uh, pretty much just got a whole lot of consistency from EBO1, which is great. Can't complain at that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.